one thing that we've been able to do in the 10 seasons is to be able to return a core group that can help the, the younger and experienced guys understand not only our system, but how we practice, what we do, what kind of our culture, and then the expectations that we have from our ourselves. And uh, I think with Nate and uh, and Corb and Chase and and uh, and Kyle that, uh, that there's there's pretty good communication to this group about what our expectations are and and uh, what our culture is. And so I feel really comfortable. With that. It, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of. A year, four or five years ago, when we were trying to replace Jimmer, uh, as far as scoring is concerned, I mean Tyler was such a consistent scorer for us. I think that the way we'll do this is kind of similar to that year, where uh, we'll have a lot of guys that'll share uh, that role. I believe with the uh, with the size, the strength, and the depth of our front line, if we can get to that, like I thought last year we would get to that. I thought we'd have Jamal and Nate on the team last year, and neither one of them played. So we're hoping we get them both this year, along with Kyle Davis and Corb and Jacob Hartsock and Braden Shaw. I and mean, if that group is good, as good as I think it will be, our depth on that front line will be way better, and it'll, it'll show. Uh, it'll show on the defensive end. I, 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 I'm really pleased with Quincy. I think that he is a, um, you know, he's a really, he's a very good coach, a really smart guy. But what I love most about Quincy is he's a, he's loves competition. You know, uh, Coach Lacombe will be a lot more involved. Uh, you know, with uh, our defensive game planning and preparation, and uh, but Quincy and, and, and Coach Lacombe, they'll, they'll, they'll handle um, our defensive game prep, and uh, and Terry will help us go. Last few years, Coach, you signed some nationally heralded recruiting classes, and now you're starting to see those players trickle into the program. Do you feel that this is the beginning? <laughs> special era or phase of this program? Yeah, I've I've been taught some patience here, I think. I'm waiting for these guys to come and excited to get them here. I'm really excited to get, you know, Nick uh, Emery was one of the, you know, the first top 100 guys we signed after Kyle and uh, Tyler. So uh, we look forward to, to Nick this year and then TJ and then, you know, Peyton Dastrup and Eric Mika coming back. So, uh, that's that's still down the road. I'm 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 excited about that, but I'm I'm really looking forward to see what what this group can do. And then then you know when Chase and, and, and Kyle and Nate leave, you know what will be here when they come back. It was really important to me that when I got this job ten years ago, that we didn't just have good teams, but we had a great program and we could be consistent year after year, not just what kind of plan for a big year that we could be consistent. We're looking, still looking for that real big year, and, and hopefully that uh, we've got it here in the future, you know, near future. Well, what I do know is that it's a really competitive league. You know, we won four out of five uh, championships um, in the Mountain West Conference, and we're 0 for 4 in this league. And uh, so the, the, the challenge is uh, obviously uh, really good, and we're looking forward to uh, you know, trying to uh, to break through here and win a regular season title and win a conference title, conference tournament title, and then make a, a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Hopefully that happens soon.